a day in the life of a narcissistic mother. I am up and I haven't gotten that much supply lately, so it's time for an extra big cup of haterade today. After aggressively drinking my haterade, I decide I'm not wearing a mask at all today. It's war because my ego needs a big stroke. And guess how I'm gonna get it? From my daughter. I drive my nine-year-old daughter to school and I berate her the entire way. She's not been giving me the supply that I have felt entitled to lately, so she just has to pay for it. I continue berating her more and more. Hopefully this time I'll get some tears out of this one. It's been exactly one week since I've seen her cry because of me and that's unacceptable. There we go, she's crying now. I'm so happy about this, yay. After dropping off my little mini me and making her cry like expected, I call in sick to work today. You know why? Today's a really important day at work. There's a huge deadline and me not being in today is gonna screw over my entire team. They're gonna have so much extra work and they'll probably have to stay overtime, but oh well, who cares? My daughter should have just given me more supply. Everybody has to pay for this now. I decide to go shopping instead and I use my ex-husband's child support money to buy jewelry and designer bag. But now it's snack time because I can't manipulate on an empty stomach. I go to the food court in the mall and I find the one place that has an empath cashier because I can smell them from a mile away. And I decide to manipulate the cashier because that's just so much fun for me. I tell the cashier that they got my order wrong and then I decide I wanna speak to the manager. The manager had the nerve to challenge me and I don't like that. So I start crying. They end up agreeing with me and giving me my food for free so they don't have to deal with my bullshit anymore. I won. Now I've shopped till I've dropped and it's time for me to pick up my mini me extension of myself. I mean child, but let's face it, she's got a job. And that job is to supply me. I'm already 40 minutes late picking her up and I've got all these missed calls and text messages from her, but I decide to go to the school anyways and I realize that she got a ride from her friend instead of waiting for me. That's unacceptable. That makes me look so bad to her friend's parents. That's not okay. Now it's really war as soon as I get home. I get home, no high or anything. I just start screaming at my daughter for getting into a stranger's car. And I ask her how she could do this to me and how worried I was about her. She doesn't need to know the truth. I tell her how she could have died because she got into a stranger's car. And if it was in my day, I would have had to go to the police station and file an Amber Alert because of what she did to me. She doesn't need to know what year those came into the picture, even though Amber Alerts didn't exist in the 60s and 70s when I was in school. She didn't cry immediately, so I started getting even more nasty with her and berating her even more. There she goes, now she's crying. Later tonight, I'm gonna rip up her project that's due tomorrow so she gets detention because as they say, a mother's work is never done.